with a self-compacting concrete beam poured into the last track slab on Wednesday. The construction of ballastless track slabs along the whole line of Jakarta Bend on high-speed rail was completed. The total length of the ballastless track section is 85.3 kilometers, accounting for 60% of the main line. Altogether, 30,177 ballastless track slabs need to be laid. The use of CRTS-3 ballastless track slabs is based on the technology developed by China with complete intellectual property rights. The new type of track slab has the advantages of a simple structure, stable performance, and good durability, and it's easy to construct. It's one of the key technologies to ensure the smoothness and safety of the high-speed railway. At present, all of the subgrade bridge and station civil works have been completed. The railway is scheduled to start operation mid-year. Ya, saya pikir sekali lagi bahwa ini tidak sekedar proyek eh, infrastruktur ya, tapi ini adalah benar-benar proyek yang akan merubah peradaban di Indonesia. Dan saya yakin kehadiran pihak Tiongkok di Indonesia ini menjadi satu dorongan bahwa ini menjadi bagian kerjasama yang lebih erat lagi. The high speed line, a landmark project under the China Proposed Belt and Road Initiative connects Indonesia's capital Jakarta and another major city, Bandung. With a design speed of 350 km per hour, the railway will cut the journey between Jakarta and Bandung from over three hours to around 40 minutes.